before going to obtain information of the client uh, uh, in ASP.NET Core, uh, I want to share my membership details and uh, you know what is my membership. Membership is a program and uh, just you can just purchase it in only 800 rupees and $1.15. Uh, $1.15 for the other country user and uh, 800 rupees for the Indian users and you know uh, in membership I will provide you a complete video tutorial on these technologies like uh, .NET Core 0 to 0 video tutorials beginning to professional video tutorial also de like design patterns and and all so I will cover a complete uh, 0 to 0 video tutorials on uh, .NET Core, DAPR, REST API, and Google.NET Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit and uh, HTML CSS jQuery. So you can say in just 800 rupees you get all these technologies video tutorial. So hurry up guys. Uh, it's a limited deal you know. So uh, if you want to join this membership just fill the Google form and Google form link is available in video description box. So just check it out. Okay, so you know um, that is the form, your name, your email ID, your contact number, reference ID, order ID, your PayPal ID and uh, 800 user for the Indian user, just pay using this UPI and $1.15 for other country user. So if you are belong from other country uh, uh, except India, so just pay using this QR code and use this my uh, PayPal ID narinkumar8500 at gmail.com and get the membership. Okay, so... Uh, well done. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you and teach you how to uh, get uh, device information uh, in ASP.NET Core with the help of Wengai dot detection package. That package is used to detect the device information like the browser information device type information and the platform information I mean to say that which version of the OS is installed in the device or the client device. So first of all choose the correct version of your uh, framework uh, of your package NuGet package just I used 6.0 but right now the Wendy dot detection uh, is uh, uh, latest stable is 8.1.0 11.0 so it's not a suitable you know its package is roll, rolled back so I want to install 6.11.4 because uh, that is suitable for my target framework. Okay, so install it and your package is installed correctly according to your target framework. And you know, we have a target framework that is 6.0. Okay, .NET uh, 6.0 is fine. Now the next one is to that is uh, in program.cs file first of all add a service for the detection that is add detection builder.service.add detection that is the service you know Okay, so builder dot services dot add detection and in which you can just add the service of the detection. Now after add this service in that uh, program dot cs file, you can just use this as a interface in the form services like that. So here we have a uh, private uh, eye detection service because eye detection is not uh, actually used in the older version we use eye detection. But right now we use eye detection service in, in just letter 6.0 we use eye detection service instead of eye detection. So must to use eye detection service instead of eye detection because there is no server or uh, you know uh, no method found. Okay so here you can see here we have a Okay, so just use eye detection service instead of eye detection and 
just use at underscore detection so with the help uh, first of all initialize it in the constructor dependency injection uh, in this form controller class and now just after that we can use detection with the help of the detection just get the information of the device like uh, uh, device type uh, so detection dot device dot type uh, like browser information so detection dot detection dot browser dot uh, name dot uh, like that dot browser dot version dot like that and detection service dot engine dot name that is accessing engine and platform information also you just get it from uh, detection service so there is a lots of service you just get it from that detection okay from this package and package actually obtain information from the uh, client uh, client information you know so just you have to add it here okay so everything is fine i think okay and you know just wait for some time i want to uh, show you the result actually and the result is on the device just get uh, the browser information and the name is the chrome browser and crawler is false device is what that is desktop fine and the name is blink platform is what that is windows uh, 64 bit uh, processor thank you guys for watching this video